Well, today we're in Hamul, California at Simpsons Nursery. Now, I've always said there's two ways to get on this show. Either have really great cars or a truly awesome mustache. I think you're going to agree with me that the owner of this establishment, Lee Smith, has got both. Hey, Lee, how you doing? Hey, Dennis, how are you? Great to see you, man. You've been, yeah. hey, you've been working on that mustache. That thing looks pretty wild. Well, you know, it's a car thing. <laughs> it is a car yeah. thing. You know, you've been telling me for years you got such cool stuff down here. I, I couldn't resist. I had to come down and see what you got. Well, let's go look at the cool stuff. There's some TNAs in here. Start with TNA, huh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's Model T's and Model A's. Man, there was everything from wreckers to speedsters. Now, how about the Woody down there? The Woody, that one came back uh, to us from the East Coast. That's a depot hack. That's what they used to haul um, the luggage and the passengers to the train station. Oh, man, that's great. Well, you've even got, a, you got yourself a wrecker here, too. What, uh, what year is that? Yeah, this is 1929 Model Double uh, A. Um, wrecker. In fact, it has the original Weaver crane on the back. Then we got a we got a teal one here that's got a calliope on it. Yeah, this is a 31 model uh, a Huckster pickup with a minor calliope on the back. Um, Versus a major calliope. That's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's it's in really nice shape. Now I, I love your little speedster over here though. This is really sweet. Yeah, this is the spirit of Hamul, kind of named after Kathy's grandfather who started our our business uh, in 1928. That is a nice little car. Yeah, it, and it goes. It goes about 55 if we can sit still long enough. Well, it's, you know, and in one of these, that's fast enough. But I also understand you got stuff that goes a lot faster. You got some pretty cool street rods and muscle yeah, cars, Yeah, we, we got some hot rods and then some stuff that moves a lot quicker than this. We'll go down the other barn and take let's a look. Let's check out the muscle barn. Okay, let's go. Oh, there was muscle, but there was so much more. I mean, what didn't Simpson's Nursery have? Now, that's a pretty rare one, yeah, isn't it, this, Lee? Yeah, this is a 1940H Dodge convertible. Uh, that year, they made about 3,300. For the three years, 46, 47, and 48, they made about 9,000. This is a bit of a, a famous pickup here. It's on, yeah. It made, made Hemmings calendar one yeah, year. Yeah, this was uh, one we picked up at a swap meet, 46 Dodge pickup. Uh, obviously, my wife picked it out. It's red. It's red. And, and speaking of red, is, is that a pacer back there, Lee? We, we have two pacers. That's one of <laughs> and them. And you admit it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wayne's World will love us for oh, that. I am not worthy. A nice, nice uh, Ford pickup here, 52, yeah, 52 right? Yeah, 52 Ford, uh, running a little 302 in it. Four speed on the column and a lockout on the floor is reversed. A little bit different. It wants to be a traditional look. Yeah. Hey, and what about them Mets? Hey, we got uh, the matching flip flop Mets here. Um, we reversed the colors. Red, on and both. white, and white, and red. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, this one looks pretty hot, so to speak. Arr, yeah. Arr. It, it, this is Elfira. In Elfira. Fact, <laughs> in fact, my wife models for that one. Um, we have flamethrowers on it. It's a traditional uh, dual carb flathead 49 Ford. Uh, it's what we call a custom. Uh, it's a cruiser. What a blast. Welcome back to My Classic Car and Simpsons Nursery, where it was about time to take a walk down Muscle Row. All right, now we're in Muscle Car Row This here. is the fast row. This is where we really get up and go. 67 Mustang Fastback, four speed. Obviously, it's my wife's. It's red. And it's nice, too. Great yeah, car. Yeah, she loves that car. Now, we've got a, here's a big Mach 1 here. Yeah, 73 Mach 1. Um, only automatic in the whole row. Uh, 351 Cleveland in here. These were actually big cars for pony cars. That yes. was, that was a, actually, that was a Clydesdale. <laughs> well, you can't see out of the back in these. It's almost impossible, but great car. Now we're into the cartoon colors of Mopar. Yeah, this is what we call our crayon box. This one yours? Uh, yeah, no, no. This is, this is the princess's car. This is my wife's car. 70 uh, Duster. That's your story speed. and you're sticking to it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It's 1970 Plymouth Cuda. 340, six barrel, four speed, scatter shield, Ooh. gear driven. Wow. It, it's hot. This is probably the fastest car in the, in the barn. Nice uh, RT here. Yeah, 71 Dodge Challenger RT. You don't see many of those. You know, they, these things uh, kind of disappeared. That body style is yeah. hard to find. 71s are a little less uh, available. Four-speed car, 383 Magnum in this. Ooh, and then, of course, great Roadrunner here. Roadrunner, just like I had in high school, 1970. This one would run a 440 with a four-speed. Um, it's a pretty quick car. All right, well, that's muscle cars. Let's, uh, let's check out the hot rods. Okay. Nice little tea bucket? Yeah, 23. This belongs to my youngest son. He's 15. Man, and a uh, great panel truck here. Yeah, 55 Chevy panel, inline six, dual carbs, flamethrowers, uh, killer CD in it. Uh, it's really a cruiser. Man, and, and another panel. Yeah, uh, 54 Chevy sedan delivery. Used to be an undertaker's car. Um, 350 Chevy in it, automatic, and wide whites. Oh, gotta have wide whites on something like that. 
Now this one, 44 Deluxe, two door, uh, 350 crate motor, 700 R4, leather interior, air conditioning, all the bells and whistles. It's red, but this one's mine. There you yeah. go. <laughs> I get one every once in a while. That's a classic rod there. Great flame job on it. Yeah, this is a traditional 50s hot rod. Um, my wife bought it for my 40th birthday. A couple, a couple, three years ago? Yeah, maybe four. Four, uh, yeah. Run right. a flathead, dual carbs, uh, Edelbrock uh, heads, uh, Columbia two-speed, three-speed on the column. Pretty traditional hot rod. Great looking thing. Thank you. You got such great toys here, Lee, but I actually came here to see your 53 Buick Estate Wagon Woody. I really want to see that. Yeah, we uh, got that at safekeeping up at the house. Would you Good. like to see it? Yeah, maybe we can even take it out for a drive. I'll let you drive it. Ooh, we're out of here. Welcome back to My Classic Car and Simpsons Nursery in Hamul, California. Lee, so this is it, the green monster. This is the 53 Buick Woody. This is Man. the one we just finished. You know, uh, the earliest car I remember my dad having was a, was a 53 Buick Special in the same color. So this, this takes me back. Right. This, now, what color is this? This is terrace green. This is the original color mixed from the data plate. Now, you were telling me this was, this was really, this was a family restoration project and the first one you did. Is that right? Right. This Tell was, me the story of that. This was uh, all the members of our family, my son, my wife, and my other youngest son got together and we decided that we were going to take on this project took us about six months to decide after we bought the car, <laughs> but we decided to take it on. And we did all the scraping and we did all the hard nose stuff underneath on top and, and just prepared it to the point where we could get it out to our people. So it was a family it. affair? Absolutely. That is wonderful. Now, has it always been a California car? What's the history of the car? Yeah, always been a California car, uh, as far as we know, back to the late 70s. So there probably wasn't much rust in it. It was probably a solid body. It's a real solid car. It had all the original wood still on it, but it was faded and, and uh, you know, you know, a little bit rough from the time it sat out. Uh -huh. Now this was a this was a super. So one of the differences between this and the Roadmaster would have been you got the three port events here, and the Roadmaster would have had four. That's correct. Uh huh. They had four uh, on on the the Roadmaster. Uh, same body length, all the chassis and everything are same. Same same size car. Wow. Well, and I, and I just you know I mean the interior again it just takes me back. I love it. It's it's so Buick. Oh, absolutely. Um, two speed Dynaflow. It's got the huge steering wheel. Uh, this one has power steering, uh -huh. um, and then it uh, also has a metal dash. And metal flake, too. Your paint's got metal flake right. in it, and that, that would have been... That's correct. Uh -huh. that metal right? flake was correct for the, the time well, period the, on this. The interior is beautiful. I'm, I'm, it's obviously been redone. We took it to our local upholstery fellow that did this. He took the patterns and things that we had when we bought the car, and we duplicated what was on it as far as yeah. the style and the colors. But that, that's some serious wood on this baby. And, and, and the whole back end here is wood. Yeah, that's unique to the, the 53 because there is no metal support in here. The wood actually holds this rear roof up. And so um, if it gets smacked over there, that, that, this comes down. So wow. you have to be real careful. That is a lot of wood. Can you open it up? Sure, we can open it up and take a look. Big tailgate. <laughs> it's like a treasure chest. That's right. But That's oh right. yeah, that is that is it's fantastic and and uh, you know again very roomy in the back. It's 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 dynamite. It's yeah. just a beautiful job. You guys you guys do nice work. Well, we're learning. <laughs> now there would have been uh, what a few other trim differences with with the Roadmaster, right? Right on the Roadmaster, what you found was they had an extra piece of chrome that went from behind the door all the way back to mm -hmm. the rear bumper. And that was unique to them. Yeah, they both had the sweep spear, the Buick sweep spear. There. They had that stainless, yeah, yeah, up there. Now, this was the last year for the Woody in 53. Last year. It was also the first year for the V8, is that right? That's correct. Uh -huh. Can we open it up? I know that's kind of a two-person yeah, job, let's, right? Yeah, let's, let's get this baby open. All right. <clears throat> Got my job. OK, oh, yeah. I did mine. <laughs> So what are we looking at here? That's a 322 um, V8, uh, 165 horse. They call it a nail head. Uh -huh. And that would have been the correct color for the era. That's correct. And then um, also has the two-speed Dynaflow. And this one's kind of unique because we do have um, power steering on it. Now you built this to, you know, kind of have a family project and have some fun with it, right? That's correct. We, uh, you know, throw everybody in. Let's go down to the local car show or the and take cruise. take it for a drive. Yeah, it's well, a lot of fun. Let's take it for a drive. Okay. You'll help me close the hood? Yeah, it's kind of a two-man job too, right? Got to push it down a little bit on the sides? Yep, one on each side. There we well, say, go. You know, I'm over on this side already. It's a heck of a long way around. What do you say I drive? I think that would be best. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to My Classic Car. Now, 
I don't even need a key to start this, right? You don't need a key. Just turn the turn it on. On. Press on the pedal. Press on the. It's a floor start. That's yeah. right. Oh, great! Great Dynaflow. And away we go. Nothing takes off quite like a Dynaflow. No, Dynaflow is press, and eventually we're gonna go. It takes a while to get ahead of steam. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. This is a fairly heavy car, uh, being a two-speed. Um, it, uh, it once it's going, it rides. I mean, it just it just kind of floats along as you well, can you know, feel. There's no wander to it. I'm surprised. I mean, a lot of times these old power steerings kind of uh, yeah. took you around lane to lane a little bit, but there's this this is real straight. Now this is it rides really good. Now you use the nursery for a lot of automotive related events too, don't you? Lee? Yeah, the nursery um, is how we make our living. We have wonderful customers and all that good stuff, and that's how we make our living. Um, and we also have built a venue just for the car guys. So um, they can come and use the venue, have picnics, and we provide that as a free deal for them. So do you have a lot of clubs that use it? Oh yeah, we have, during the spring, we have one almost every weekend. Okay. So we've had about, like last year, we had about 40 different events out there. Now, did you always want a Buick Woody, or this one just came your way? This one showed up one day. The fellow came in, found me and Kathy, says, you know, I want to sell the Woody. And I said, really? I said, you've been talking about it to me for 20 years to restore it. <laughs> you want to sell your Woody? So I said, okay, let's go look at it. So we got in the car, went to his grandmother's house. It was parked out on the driveway, and Kathy says, yeah, let's get it. I said, you want to do all that work? Are you out of your mind? I said, I don't know. This is a challenge. We've never done anything like this before. And she says, no, let's do it. Let's go for it. We spent about six months on the restoration, and that's our work from the time we took the first bolt off till the time it came back. Wow. A lot of work, but a lot of fun. Absolutely. I'd do it, I'd do it again in a heartbeat if we could find another and the family worked together pretty well on it? Yeah, the only complaints we had was my son's car got so much dust from sanding <laughs> on it, and it's a black car. I tell you, Lee, there's nothing like a big Buick. Oh, man, it rides great. Thanks for the ride, Dennis. <laughs> hey, anytime. This is such a cool car. I'd show for you around in this baby any day, Lee. Maybe next time I could drive it? <laughs> Forget it. Not a chance, man. <laughs> well, hey, you've pretty much spent the whole day with me. I know you still got work at the nursery to do. I'll even give you a hand. What do you say? I'm up for that. All let's right, go. let's go. Okay.